the current fleet of small surface combatants, which right now is all littoral combat ships, are focused mission ships with a single mission in mind. That brings some real capability in the littorals where a large carrier battle group can't get to. People ask me about littoral combat ship. Is it a new cruiser or destroyer? Actually, it's neither. It's an entirely new category of warship. The carriers, cruisers, and destroyers are more like desktop computers, whereas an LCS is more like a smartphone. This ship is designed to defeat global challenges in the littoral environment. LCS offers the perfect recipe for speed to capability because it has modularity, open architecture, and common U.S. Navy systems. LCS can access places that our other ships can't go, but then because the LCS is a node on the network, it can send that information back to those multi-mission ships in order for them to have that data in their part of the fight. The top side of LCS has three flexible weapon spaces. As technology evolves and threats change, these spaces can accommodate new capabilities, such as vertical launching systems or directed energy weapons. This flexibility allows the U.S. Navy to keep pace with technology and threats. About 40% of the ship is reconfigurable space. So when we bring an asset in, we have controlled interfaces where we can plug those in to not only provide information to our network, but our network to provide information to it. What's next for LCS is upgrades to lethality and survivability. It means LCS will have weapons that can outrange adversary weapons. It also means LCS will have better situational awareness and more options to outmaneuver a threat. Lethality and survivability upgrades are already underway. The ship's computing infrastructure is getting complete cyber upgrade. Over-the-horizon missiles are being installed on the front of the ship, and electronic warfare systems are being removed and replaced with next-gen systems that enhance situational awareness and improve the ship's self-defense capabilities. I think a lot of people are going to fall in love with the capability it brings to the fleet, especially when we get them out there in numbers. I think it's going to be fantastic. Can't wait.